today I am sorting out my bikes and I've I've got a couple of bikes so at the moment I have been riding around on my giant which is right here uh, it's a decent bike does the job but the bike that I really need to get out and train on is my Vanti Cuesta and that's a, well I think it's a good bike uh, but I haven't been riding it for a while because well what happened was I got knocked off my bike by another cyclist and because that bike's carbon it needs a few things fixed on it so I'm going to whack on some new tyres today and then we're going to take it down to the bike shop and then they're going to hopefully it's not going to cost me a fortune I've changed up the tires hopefully I've done them um, properly uh, but this is not a bad bike like I think I bought it back in 2014 or 15 after my other one got stolen um, there's a really really cool story I really love telling the story so I'm gonna tell it um, so my I had a Merida and I rode it everywhere and it ended up getting stolen so I've been commuting to work you know since 2012 I think and so my Merida got stolen and I was it was a road bike and I was like oh my god um, what am I gonna do so <laughs> I at the time I was working in town and in the C Christchurch CBD and I like I didn't finish work till like 2 or 3 in the morning so I would have to walk home at 2 3 o'clock in the morning like trudge home through those inner city streets Anyway, every night I passed the Avanti shop and in the window they had a bike with this bike and it was so so expensive and I was like I'm never ever going to be able to afford that bike, I'm never going to own it and like literally every night for about six months I walked past this um, shop window and it was kind of like Wayne's World, like how they go into the shop to cover that guitar that they really love. Um, it was the same thing. I was like, you know, someday it will be mine. And anyway, luck would have it, I actually won a bike competition. Um, and it was for like a wee Avanti town bike. And that ended up getting stolen as well, by the way. Uh, but I had to go into an Avanti shop because they were gonna, they would send the bike there, they'd put it together, and that's how I got my free bike. When I went to pick up the uh, free bike that I won, this bike was at the front of the store. It was the last one, and it was half price. And I was like, the first thing I said to the guy was like, do you guys do lay-by? And he's like, yep. And I was like, oh my god, why is this bike so cheap? And he was like, it's the last one. It's super cheap. You better get it. And so I put it on lay-by, and that's how I got this bike. I'm not usually a pink person, but I just really like the look of this bike. Um, I think everything's carbon, obviously, except for the rims. I really, really hate that, so I'm going to change that. <laughs> I should really give some tyre changing tips since I was changing tyres. I don't really know much about bikes. I'm not, uh, definitely not an expert, but what I do know is you should never change your tube on the cassette side. Uh, I've learned that the hard way. Uh, what else about tires so oh, when you're changing tires um, somebody I can't remember who gave me this tip like when you have your bike logo the tire logo sorry the tire logo there well you can't see it there um, so you put the tire logo by your tube valve opening thingy and so every time you need to change your tube uh, you know where it is straight away because your logo of your tire is right there uh, so it's Friday and the bike is back, woo! But over enthusiastic there, but shiny new brake pads, new brake cables, so that sort of means that I've got no excuses to avoid hills now. Uh, so we're gonna, well actually I'm gonna take the dog for a walk first and then we're gonna go for a test ride and make sure everything is all working properly. Uh, but that is a whole other vlog. Bye.